So this uh this is the lesson for uh, markup and markdown. So we will be discussing first the markup. So in markup, <coughs> let us know first what does markup means. So in here, markup is the difference between the initial cost and the current selling cost. And when does markup usually happens? So kapag kasi nabi nating markup, example from the <coughs> buying and selling, meron tayong tinatawag na mark on, that is the ideal price that you want to get on a certain commodities or kung ano man yung binibenta mo. Then after that, kapag ka naisipan mo na gusto mong mag mark up or gusto mong didagan yung price due to different reasons. So, the reasons kaya nagdadagdag tayo ng price or nagmo mark up tayo First, a calamity has hit the source of a raw material or commodity, therefore, affecting its supplies. Kung napapatsin nyo, kapag ka, <coughs> merong mga sakuna or uh, some disasters, kapag ka ganyan, minsan nagmamahal yung mga bilihin. It's also because of the demand and supply. So, dyan na tayo nagkakaroon ng markup or pagtaas ng mga bilihin. Then, after that, the second reason, sometimes kapag ka, seasonal demand. So, kapag ka may Christmas or Valentine's, kapag ka may occasion, special occasions, minsan nagtataas talaga yung mga bilihin natin. So, that is the markup na tinatawag natin. So, the terms that we use in markup, in here we have MU or the markup, then we have the MUR or the markup rate, then we have the IC which is the initial cost, and then after that the selling price, will be the cost or kung magkano mo siyang ibibenta once na nadagdag mo na yung markup mo. Okay? So, those terms may be different from other books. So, bahala na kayo kung ano yung susundan ninyo as much as the same naman yung concept nila. Then, <clears throat> the formulas that we will use. So, to find the markup, we have the initial cost times the markup rate. Then, the markup rate is equals, to find the markup rate, it is equals to the markup divided by the initial cost. Then, for the selling price, it is equals to initial cost plus the markup. And then, sa initial cost, it is equals to the selling price minus the markup. Okay? So, be familiarized with those one. Yan yung mga gagamitin natin. So, let us have our first example here. So, example number one, Mrs. Rogon bought 100 kilograms of avocado that she sells for 110 pesos per kilogram. Then, she desires to have an additional 25% markup rate on this product. Okay? So, letter A, tinatanong, what is the markup? Letter B, how much is the selling price? And then, letter C, how much is the total possible profit once the markup is added sa mga Komod, uh, sa mga binibenta ni Ms. Rogon na avocado. So, let us answer number one. So, example number one, uh, I mean, uh, let us get the given in here. So, <clears throat> Okay. So, in here, kinatanong kung ano yung markup. Get Kunin muna natin yung mga givens natin. So, Mrs. Rogan bought 100 kilograms of avocado to sell for 110 pesos. So, let's say 110 pesos. So, yung 110 pesos natin ngayon will be the initial cost. Hundred pesos will be the initial cost. Then after that, she desires to have an additional twenty five percent markup. So the markup rate natin is equals to twenty five percent or point twenty five. Okay. Then after that, she desires a 
tinatanong natin dito, what is the markup? So, para makuha yung markup natin from the formula that we have given before, ang formula para sa markup natin is the MU or the markup is equals to the initial cost times the markup rate. Okay. So, since yung initial cost natin and the markup rate are given, sa substitute lang tayo ngayon. So, we have 110 times yung markup rate natin which is 0.25. Multiply mo lang ngayon, markup, from your calculator. So, we have 110 multiplied by 0.25. The markup will be 27.5 pesos. That will be the amount that will be added <coughs> doon sa initial cost natin na 110 pesos. Yan yung magiging markup natin. So, kapag kabinenta mo na siya, para makuha mo yung selling price, you will just add 27.5 to 110 pesos. Okay? So, let us have our letter B. Uh, in here, ang hinahanap dito, how much is the selling price? So, ang gagawin lang natin, from the given, so, meron tayong 110 pesos as the initial cost. Then, markup rate natin is equals 25%. Or 0.25. Then, dun sa una nating sinol, yung markup natin is 27.5. Okay. So, ang hinahanap natin, how much is the selling price? To get the selling price, we have selling price is equals to initial cost plus the markup. So, since yung initial cost and markup natin are all both given, substitute lang lang natin. So, we have 110 plus the markup which is 27.5. This is the selling price. And then, 110 plus 27.5. This is equivalent to 137.5. So, this will be now our selling price. Okay. Then lang siya kasimple. <clears throat> Next tayo, for the letter C on question number 1, how much is the total possible profit? So, magkano daw yung pwede niyang kitain sa lahat ng mga binibenta niyang avocado. So, let us just represent it as total profit, TP. Okay. Then, equivalent equals to, so, para makuha yung top, total profit, dapat, yung markup natin, multiply by the total number of items. Or kung ilang kilo na meron tayo dito. So, in here, we have the kilograms. So, total profit muna natin is equivalent, yung markup natin, which is, 27.5 times multiply natin sa number of items in here we have 100 kilograms okay so kapag kami multiply natin yan we have 27.5 multiply by 100 that is equivalent to 2750 so that is the total possible profit na pwede nating kitain once nag-markup tayo ng 25% from 110 pesos. Okay? So, that is the total possible profit kapag ka naibenta lahat ng 100 kilograms of avocados. Okay? So, example number 2. In here, Mrs. Bawas Fishery Products Entrepreneur has decided to apply markup based initial cost of the fishery products. She desires to have 15% on fresh squids. 20% for dried squid, 25% for squid drinks, and she brought fresh squid at 80 per kilogram, dried squid 450 per kilogram, and squid drinks for 500 pesos per kilogram. So first, ang tinatanong, what is the markup of fresh squid, dried squid, and squid drinks? 
So, first, identify muna natin yung given natin. So, from this one, meron tayong markup rate. Okay? So, let's say markup rate for fresh squid. Represent natin siya as FS is equivalent to 15%, which is this one. So, sa fresh feed natin, markup rate niya is 15% or 0.5 per kg. Next, markup natin sa dried squid, which is this one, is 20%. So, sulat natin, markup for dried squid is equivalent to 20% or 0.20. Then, after that, mark up for the squid drinks, she desires 25%. So, add natin 25% or 0.25. Okay. So, we now have the given. Then, tignan pa natin kung anong given natin. So, in here, she brought fresh squid at 80 pesos per kilogram. So, initial cost niya is 80 pesos. So, initial cost of fresh squid is equivalent to 80 pesos. Then, initial cost para sa dried squid. Fresh squid, 80 pesos. Dried squid, 450 We have 450 pesos. Then, initial cost para sa squid drinks is equivalent to 500 pesos. <clears throat> okay. So, ang tinatanong dito, what is the markup for the fresh squid, dried squid, and squid drinks? So, para makuha yung markup natin, we have the formula uh, markup is equivalent to initial cost times the markup rate. Okay. So, since yung markup natin are given and also at the initial cost, magsa-substitute lang tayo. So, unahin muna natin si markup for fresh squid. Okay. So, markup for fresh squid, kukunin mula natin yung given. Initial cost para sa fresh squid is 80 times the markup rate is 0.15. Okay? Ang gagawin mo, multiply mo lang yan. 80 times 0.15, that is equivalent to markup for fresh squid is equivalent to 12 pesos. So, this will be the markup for the fresh squid. Next, hinahanap natin markup for the dried squid. This is equivalent to the initial cost for the dried squid, which is this one, is 450 times markup rate para sa dried squid natin is 20% or 0.20. So, this is 0.20. So, this is markup rate. Ayan, kulang ng R. Okay. So, multiply mo ngayon siya. We have 450 multiply by 0.20. That is equivalent to 90 pesos. We have the markup for dried squid. Okay. So, next naman, hanapin natin yung markup para sa squid drinks. So, for the squid drinks, initial cost niya is 500 times yung markup rate ng squid drinks is 0.25. So, 500 <clears throat> times 0.25, it is equivalent to 125 pesos. Ito nga yung markup rate for squid drinks. Okay. Eh. 
Okay. So, yan. Nakuha na natin yung markup for the fresh squid which is 12 pesos. Markup for the dried squid is 90 pesos. And markup for the squid drinks is 125 pesos. So, next tayo, hanapin naman natin yung letter B na hinahanap. So, what is the selling price for fresh squid, dried squid, and squid drinks? So, in here, para makuha yung selling price, it is equivalent to initial cost plus the markup natin. So, hanapin natin yung selling price for the dried squid uh, So, hanapin muna natin yung selling price for the fresh squid. So, selling price for the fresh squid is equivalent to initial cost plus the markup. Okay? So, hanapin natin yung initial cost sa markup ng fresh squid. So, from here, initial cost ng fresh squid is 80 pesos, which is this one. And then, yung markup niya is 12 pesos. So, ang gagawin natin, 80 pesos plus 12. So, this is equivalent to 92 pesos. So, this is now the selling price for the fresh squid. <clears throat> Next, hanapin natin, selling price for the dried squid. So, initial cost plus the markup. Hanapin natin initial cost saka sa markup ng dried squid. Initial cost, which is 450, markup niya is 90. So, 450, 450 plus 90, this is equivalent to 540 pesos. So, this will be now the selling price for the dried squid. Then, next tayo, selling price for the squid drinks is equivalent to initial cost plus the markup. Kunin natin ngayon yung initial cost ng squid drinks at saka yung markup. So, initial cost niya is 500 and then markup niya is 125. So, 500 plus 125 this is equivalent to 625 pesos. This will be now the selling price for the squid drinks. Okay. So, para mas <clears throat> masubukan ninyo, kung naintindihan nyo ba, you can try this one. And then, tingnan ninyo kung makukuha nyo ba yung tamang sagot. So, that would be all for this video. Thank you.